Peace, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the I Am Andre Love Vlog, and this is Depression. I'm speaking on this subject because it is something that I personally deal with and have for the majority of my life. It is also a topic that has been highlighted during the pandemic. The purpose of this video is to share some insights and perhaps provide some tools in how we can better support the process for ourselves or those we know that battle with it. I want to begin with that I feel there's a wide misconception of what depression is. The conclusion that it is just the cause of chemical imbalances in the brain and that it's a genetic disposition. And of course, that the only solution is antidepressants. I don't think anyone can really comprehend what it is without having experienced it for themselves. Another concept, let's say, from an indigenous or shamanic perspective is that the root cause is spiritual disharmony, perhaps a dark night of the soul, or what the ancient Greeks called catabasis, a descent into the underworld. Due to a lack of knowledge, many have the ideas that it is just sadness, or being a victim, or seeking attention, or laziness, and even weakness. In contrary, it takes a strong soul to go through these endeavours and still get through. I, for one, when having these reoccurring phases, I don't avoid them or suppress them. I used to be able to hide what was really going on from other people and I did a good job of doing it. Yet, as I got older, especially from my mid-twenties, it got a lot harder and a lot worse. Sometimes there's a trigger, sometimes I'm aware it's coming and sometimes I'm completely oblivious and it just happens with no idea as to why. It occurs like a formation of dark clouds heading towards the sun and completely blocking the light or being pulled into a dark hole. The negative voice inside my head becomes dominant shrouding my being with what seems to be confirmation of my self-defeating thoughts, reminding me once again of how worthless I am and what's the point of anything. The thoughts impact the emotions and eventually breaking me as a whole. It paralyzed me, making me non-functional in which I would stay in bed and only get out when I needed to use the toilet. I would have no appetite and interest in things that I loved and was passionate about. I'd stop talking and disconnect from everyone and everything. It affected my sleeping patterns. Having me sleep a lot, especially during the day and being up for most of the night. My experience of depression is a mix of emotional states such as sadness, anger, frustration, remorse, despair, shame, and even numbness, which I don't feel anything at all, and even having no thoughts. I isolate myself because I don't want to be a burden to others, because I feel I need to deal with my own stuff by myself, not wanting sympathy and because no one understands what I'm going through. People around me generally have the tendency to project what they think it is that I'm going through, saying such things like, oh, you're just sad. Or some people have got it worse than you. What have you got to complain about? Or there was a time I once felt like you did. There's also the projection of what do you think I should do to get out of it? I acknowledge that it can be done out of love, yet comments like this just add fuel to the fire of agitation. It's not as simple to just shake it off when one can feel like not even wanting to live anymore. I've only had suicidal ideation a few times. Once when I was maybe nine or 10, I did hold a knife to my wrist. Through my childhood, I went through a lot of abuse. I felt very abandoned and thought who would care that I'm no longer here anyway. I stood there for a moment in contemplation and it was fear that didn't allow me to carry out the act. It is known that depression can lead to suicide 
or can be a catalyst for spiritual awakening. Eventually within my own processes, I do receive revelations, inspiration, tools and healing that allow me to step back into the light with a new sense of clarity and direction. In 2014, I went for my first experience with the plant medicine, ayahuasca. Coming out of that retreat, being completely transformed, I thought I would never be depressed again. Instead, it's helped me alter the way I manage myself when these cycles reappear. I can function now with my regular routines. I can still maintain my practice of gratitude, even if I don't fully feel it. I'm able to communicate with others and my shadow, asking what it needs and providing to that part of myself. I've noticed that the lifespan of these cycles have now become more short-lived. I think one of the best things people can do to help is to be present and patient. Ask questions about what the suffering is. To really listen without replying with what you may think is a solution. To ask if there's anything that can be done to help and to assure the person who is suffering that they are loved and you are there for them. Again, patience, because this person may not want to or can communicate or know what they need at that time. And maybe they just want to be left alone. Though, do check in regularly, especially if it's severe and a cause of real concern. Sometimes it does take intervention and to get professional assistance. Although, if suicide does become the verdict, then perhaps that is the life path that soul chose, which of course can be challenging to accept, and yet is a reality. Again, the purpose of this video is to share some insights and my own account of my experience with depression. Hopefully you can take something away from this that is useful and I'm very grateful that I'm in a position to speak on this that perhaps gives another perspective you may not have heard before. I thank you for listening and please share this video. Love.